did you know that you can create an advanced kitchen in Oxygen Not Included, with automation, bonuses and, most importantly, non-spoiling food? Today I'll guide you on how to build one. This is Aiming for Gaming, and today we're aiming for self-sustaining. To begin, outline two room areas, each measuring 8x4 for easier construction. Place the first three insulated tiles to form a storage spot for our final food. I recommend using Igneous Rock for its thermal conductivity. Construct a conveyor chute in the middle, along with the railings and an aluminum radiant liquid pipe. Now let me show you my favorite method to introduce gas into the middle tile. Start by building a temporary regular tile and a storage bin, setting it to store around 50 kg of chlorine. Once you duplicate fill the bin, demolish both the tile and the bin. Remove any excess materials, leaving only chlorine inside. Due to its low melting point of minus 101 degrees Celsius, the chlorine will quickly turn into gas. Be aware that you may need to compete with carbon dioxide for space, so it might take time or several tries. Once you're fortunate enough, seal the tile. Repeat the process for the second food storage area, which will be used for ingredients. Once completed, cover the room, as the extra space is no longer necessary. Build two conveyor loaders and two auto sweepers, as shown on the screen, connecting the loaders to the conveyor chutes with railings. Next, place an aqua tuner and a liquid pipe thermal sensor and connect them with automation wire. Install a liquid bridge, with ceramic being the optimal choice. Complete the setup with the insulated liquid pipes, once again using ceramic. Ensure that the pipes connect to both the aqua tuner and the liquid bridge to establish a cooling loop. Repeat this for both the input and output sides. The entire loop should resemble the diagram with ceramic insulated liquid pipes except the two aluminum radiant pipes responsible for cooling the food. Fill the pipes with crude oil or another liquid that won't solidify at temperatures below minus 18 degrees Celsius. Complete the cooling loop, allowing the liquid to flow freely. The most challenging part is now complete. If you found it easy to follow and are enjoying video so far, pressing the like button would be the best reward for me. It's time to place the gas range, electric grill, spice grinder, refrigerator and microbe masher. Connect everything to the power line except the refrigerator, which is only required for room bonuses. Don't forget to connect your natural gas pipe to the gas range. Set the temperature threshold to above minus 20 degrees Celsius and let it cool down the food tiles. Place a second refrigerator in the great hall, but this time ensure it's powered. This is where the food will be stored for easy access. Both the food tile and the refrigerator should be accessible by the auto sweeper in this position. Set up the ingredients such as bristle berries and configure the bottom conveyor ladder for manual use. Limit the desired final food capacity in the refrigerator based on the needs of your colony. The final value should be around 1 kg per 3 people. The top conveyor loader should be set to filter only the final food you wish to provide to your duplicants. And there you have it! Your food will benefit from both sterile atmosphere and deep freeze bonuses due to the cold and sterile chlorine environment. And if you desire some spice buffs, the auto sweepers have got you covered. Lastly, let me show you my preferred location for such a kitchen. As you can see, I prefer connecting it with the recreation room and great hall to form a complete standard layer, reaping benefits from all rooms. In my colony of 15 duplicants, I set the refrigerator to a capacity of 5 kg and an auto sweeper continuously fills it with food during lunch time. Neither the ingredients nor the final food will spoil. Everyone is happy, and so am I. I hope with this guide you have achieved what we are aiming for today. For more guides, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing, it's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.